If you find self-inquiry difficult, there are other things you can do. You can think of Bhagavan. And you can look at a picture of him. You can imagine him. You can think of him. You can think of him as separate to you. You can think of him as God. Or, best of all, you can think of him as your own self within your chest, within your heart. It doesn't matter. You cannot do self-inquiry. You can think of him instead. You can pray to him. You can chant his name. Ramana, 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 Ramana. Or you can chant his mantra. Om Namo Bhagavate Sri Ramanaya. Om. As you please. If you feel agitated during your meditation, chanting is a fantastic way of dissipating that excess energy. You can do yoga asanas, the postures, the poses. You can read the scriptures, read the teachings. Simplest thing to do is lovingly worship, think of, pray, Praise Bhagwan Ramana. Or if you have a different form of the divine you prefer to worship or pray to, you can do that instead. Even if you don't believe in this stuff, it, it still works. So give it a go. And then there's Maya. We don't need to concern ourselves with her. But one of her roles sometimes, what Maya likes to do, is she likes to she likes to be the center of attention. She likes to really back in. And apologies, by the way, for referring to Maya in the feminine and Bhagavan the self in the masculine. It's just What is it? Habit? It doesn't mean anything more than that. These things are beyond um, gender or sex or anything like that. Some of you will know I sometimes refer to the devil, to Satan, which is the same as Maya, but in the masculine. The thing with Maya is that she tries to sometimes tempt you, bring you back to her, make you listen to her, think of her. Maya here is any of the objective phenomena that rise. And sometimes just as your silence is getting very deep, your spiritual practice is progressing nicely, Maya starts to throw her toys out the pram. She starts to create noise. Look at me, look at me, she's saying. Don't neglect me. I want your attention. Don't give your attention to Bhagavan. Give it to me. And this is a test to see how much you want liberation. Do you really want liberation? Or do you just say you want liberation, but when... Something interesting happens in Maya, or something alarming happens in Maya, you start freaking out, you start panicking, or you start getting ex excited. 
wanted to see. Your job is not to attend to Maya. Leave that to Ishvara, to God. Let Maya deal with Maya. Let God or Maya deal with Maya. Let Ishvara deal with Maya. Your job is to come home to yourself. Surrender Maya to God. You come back to yourself. Ishwara just means the god of Maya, by the way. Ishwara and Maya are actually the same. If you if Maya thinks that by throwing her toys out the pram, she'll get your attention, she'll do it more and more and more. Once she realizes that it doesn't work, she starts to be quiet and your practice gets easier. Just like a child. If they think they can get what they want from you by nagging, please can I have a sweet? No, you can't. Go on, please can I have a sweet? No, you can't. Please, please, please. Okay, go on then. Here, have a sweet. Next time the child will keep on begging, whining until it gets the sweet. Why? Because the child knows they will break you. Maya is the same. Maya will cause havoc in your life, cause lots of problems for you. If she knows, she's going to have her way with you. And once you are firm and resolved in the, to attend to the self, she, she goes, okay. Like the child, the child doesn't ask for the sweet. They know they're not going to get anywhere. You're a firm parent. In the same way, Maya, she quietens down. 